Hello, yeah. everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we had to turn up the vodcast before we could actually get in here. Um, yeah, we learned uh, we learned some new things. We we <laughs> uploaded our AI consciousness to a machine that just plays streams over and over again. But then the AI consciousness took over. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we're yeah. a channel run by robots now. Hi, welcome yes. to possibly the last human encounter you'll ever have with Challenger Approaching TV. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. And we will be better. Welcome we will be better off for it. Get out of here, yo! Yo, yeah, you men. Yo, yeah, men. <laughs> chomp, chomp. Hey, everybody! Look at me. Happy DR Tuesday with Dumbling Burgers <laughs> and <laughs> Ryu. I am Ryu. Fa False Shane. 4069, dirty joke not found. This is a good joke that we got going on here. And, <laughs> and Wander. Are you dial up? Are you dial up? Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so, so uh, that joke. eyes I, here. It's one. <laughs> uh, having, I'm having Skype flashbacks. But hello, everybody. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to NDRV. Wander is a functional program. He is. Will you guys really start using the fucking timer again? <laughs> Oops. If you guys recall, uh, we are in the middle of the third trial, and uh, it's probably going to be either Karakio or Himiko. We're not sure just yet, but looks like we've reached the intermission segment, which means it's time for our guess the victim quiz. A victim quiz, not a culprit quiz. Mm -hmm. uh, the only victims are the people who are still watching this drawn-out, boring crap. Am I right? <laughs> wow. Uh... <laughs> Why are you being such a down all of a sudden? It is okay. I am sure everyone is happy. Paul Shane, we're done with that joke. We're being uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> they could be skipping this entire conversation for all you know. You guys are too meta for me. I can't take it! I can't take it anymore! I'm the real victim here, me! Why are you getting upset? If anything, I'm the real victim. I gotta put, gotta put up with all this nonsense all the time. Meow. That's the right answer, Monodam! Why? He hasn't said anything. Exactly! Cause there are no victims! Yep, even if you're killed in this killing game, you're a winner. Cause then everyone mourns you and you get tons of posthumous popularity. Oh, daddy, you don't need to reveal these kind of behind the scenes details. <laughs> Dying makes you more popular? Then we gotta die soon too! Wow, are they are they are they burning themselves right now? <laughs> Is that what's going on? Meow. Uh. <laughs> Just kidding. I know I'm not going to die anywhere near this stream. <laughs> Stabbed. <Right>? Monopoly? <laughs> no. She knows what I'm talking about. Oh, we back. Whoa! <laughs> this is my impression of a spooky, scary ghost. Uh, I'm fine with real ghosts. My impressions of, my impressions of them are too scary. Logic does not compute. <laughs> huh? Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. No. <laughs> you know what else is scary? Sweet buns. Yep, tasty, tasty sweet buns. <laughs> so round, so sweet, so delicious. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Huh? You hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> no. No. That was one of the weirdest sadly in robot. <laughs> no. News sadly in which? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Chemical. 
You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you use that trap to kill Tanko, duh. Trap is an offensive term. We prefer. I mean, <laughs> you know. Well, Doggy Lips, did you kill the twat? No. <laughs> Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already! Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. What? <laughs> Blunt. What? I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie died. Tenko died. Why did I have to survive? And now, you're saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Damn, Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. It's an interesting perspective from behind the one of the yeah. pictures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The game's really blah if your suspect doesn't get into it. That's not the problem. <laughs> Damn it, don't tell me you've given up. Come on. Himiko, don't give up. <laughs> Clearly no one believes she did it. Never except so. for, like, fucking Kurikyo. Uh... Do you understand? My life is riding on the outcome of this trial. Just shut up. I told you I'm too tired. It's all just big pain. You can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. Himiko is the one who chose the room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Impossible. Uh, Himiko would never kill Tenko. Himiko not that kind of person. Gonto can tell by Himiko's face. Himiko's a little slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. <laughs> I also think Himiko is not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does seem a rather pointless quest. No is not. We gotta be strong. Got to keep thinking, then we might find new truth. So, no give up, Hamiko. No surrender. Did that bitch just call me? S <laughs> slow? Sorry, God. <laughs> <laughs> Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaide died. But we can't give up. We just put on more we eyeliner. <laughs> we survived. We can't give up. For the sake of everyone who died. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's get back into it then. Starting Start fresh. Page of child. Oop. Are you performing the seance in that room? Mm -hmm. Was Himiko's decision, was it not? Was it really? was? Whoa. What if someone oh. steered her into picking that room? Ooh. Hmm. Of the three empty rooms. <laughs> See it. What? Why did you select the middle one, Kimiko? Because you laid your tray up there. Was trap only in that room? Thank you, uh, Gato. Uh, 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 other rooms may be trapped. Too. Okay. Okay, so we can agree. Yeah, I, even if Himiko picked the room, someone else could have made that trap. Your opinions are empty of words. Wow. Mm, wow. Yeah. Do you have any proof? <laughs> if, the if the culprit's plan were to make H Himiko a suspect, they might have persuaded her to choose that room somehow. But how? And what would that tell us? Wait, so that's a child further think, on the logic. Okay, I, I think I know what it is. I think I know what it I is. So I, gotta, we may... I think it's this. 
You need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with no light. The way that Korakio convinced Himiko to choose one of those three rooms is that he said that the uh, that there was no other room that didn't have a window. So they had to choose those rooms. Did he? Th they had to choose one of those three rooms. Yeah, he did that. Did he so watch I the podcast? Because that's a very important detail. That that's a very, yeah, oblique detail. I love watching Danganronpa streams. <laughs> so I'm going to say... I, Think. He remembers this one. <laughs> I do so think sure. that we may have to like lie and say that we investigated the other two rooms. Oh, am I wrong? Well, yeah, it, well, you I did it on the wrong thing. Thinking, but that prompt doesn't make sense. Oh, Ooh. did I did I did I shoot at the wrong thing? I think you shot it at the wrong text. Yeah. So what uh, you're saying is that there was only room one room she could have picked. So I think you had to agree with Korakio. Yeah. Okay. But I think that she could pick. Like, I still think that. She could pick any of them, and that they were all rigged. Yeah, the that's way. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying is that yeah. all three of those rooms were rigged, and Corey Keo got her to choose those rooms by saying, "Oh, where are we gonna find a room that's dark enough?" And then you know, I, Himiko just like, I feel "Oh, like you're not this asking why they chose those, like any of those three rooms. I think they're asking like of those three rooms, why the middle one?" All right, that's fair. That's but so do, do you, none, none of those three rooms had windows. Then are we not still trying to argue that all three of those rooms were booby trapped? We are. Uh, yeah. one step it's one time. or the other, uh, isn't it? At this you, point, you said that thing about a window. Were all three rooms windowless? I believe. Yes. So. Yeah. Yes, okay. they were. So, okay. so it, all three rooms are exactly the same. Then it's, okay. Then there's no difference. That, yeah. Then it's given that it would be any of those three rooms. We just need to figure out why she picked the middle one, or why it doesn't matter yeah. if she picked the middle one. Let's get back into it. Okay. Go on. I already oh, read this. You. You, oh, you already read this? Oh, that's yeah. my bad. Plus, we would need to stomp the floorboard in the other rooms to be sure. Oh. I made a mistake. I need to think it over again. See, okay, that's so what, do you guys, what are you guys suggesting them, I do? Well, I believe all three of them are traps because, um... Can we uh, lie? Uh, Kachika, whatever the fuck my snotty little nose brat kid's name is. Yeah, Kachika. <laughs> he stomped through the floorboard in the other room, remember? He uh, went to go investigate the other rooms, and he fell through the floorboard in one of those rooms. Oh, as well. so you you th you think that this you oh. think that this is? I think okay. you're right. Oh. So then, do I shoot this at Gonta's thing? Yeah, yeah. where it says is, all is three it rooms are trapped. The goddamn rescue. Yeah, it sure as fuck is. So we're agreeing with there Gonta. You go. Oh yeah, consent with Gonta. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Good guess. Good guess. Guess. <laughs> it's just like Ghana said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? <laughs> Kokichi will tell you. That? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Palshin loves all of his kids. Byakuya, Gundam, looks at Smudge Tan, Kokicha. <laughs> 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 Give me a break. Uh, I wonder, wonder a lot I love about all my love. children equally. <laughs> Later that day, I don't care for Tenko. <laughs> <laughs> I think or, as I her, <laughs> or as Tenko. I call her, or as I call her, Akane. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they missed all that conversation before the, before the stream. Lunder could not remember the name of Tenko and called her Akane, and then we tried to tell him that Akane was the swimmer girl from Danganronpa 1. <laughs> nope, that's not right either! God damn it. They're God damn it. Same. We remember our Danganronpa characters, you shut up. Wanders are all the same. <laughs> yeah. Bust, like, 40 busty one, and large muscly one. But Hajime and, uh, and Suichi have nothing in common. No, no they have nothing in common. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I was way too careless. Uh, wait. What are you talking about? I just woke up. I guess there was no cross piece supporting the floorboard. I kinda stepped through. Jeez, jeez. <laughs> what bad luck. This is just your memory. I cannot provide any new information. <laughs> Oh, thanks for that, Thoughts. While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I did find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. <laughs> wow! Hold on. There was also a loose floorboard in the next room. 
So the culprit prepared to trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. If, <clears throat> if the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select the room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and then take the blame! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I see. We were calling <laughs> the culprit's trap all along! Good oh, cover! Yeah. Good cover! Especially you! Yes, I made a mistake. Uh, culprit too clever for me, <laughs> <laughs> But now there's no reason to suspect him ego, right? Mm -hmm. Himiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Not at all. Oh, wow. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Elsa. Please. <laughs> please, please. Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Yeah. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. Oh, this trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. Mm -mm, you're on, you. Mm -mm. You're right. Yeah, that's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tenko when I inevitably die. <laughs> That's right, so let's do our best. Yeah, all right! I'm not gonna say it's a pain anymore. I won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Don't, do not say everyone. After all, the Black is still among us. Thanks for reminding <laughs> him. <laughs> Jeez, there you go, killing the mood like usual. But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect from my soul brother. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, not a, that's not what a soul brother is, no. <laughs> your, your soul brother. <laughs> um, guys, growth. Anyway, do you think the black in this time has some sort of superpower? What what are you talking about? What if they're like one of those ultimates I hear about all the time? Well, as a self-proclaimed expert at stepping through floorboards, <laughs> isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Oh shit, assassinate. That's all uh, assassinate like. The earth is good point. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. Why did no one step on the floorboard until after until it was used for the murder? Oh, the, oh, the salt circle. That must be the reason. <laughs> uh, I don't. The salt circle. Oh, because the magic circle. Oh. Yeah, Luigi, you don't say something unless you have something. <laughs> <laughs> I got okay, it. Sir, what is it? Hold on, I gotta look through my notes. Give me one second. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Starting to look really, really like it was Gorky. Also, it's dark <laughs> in it's here, so be sure to lot. watch your step. <laughs> like if the magic know. circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it uh, may also unleash a curse. Traps in every room. <laughs> <laughs> Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. That was part of the culprit's plan, too. That's right. If that's the case, then the culprit. There's no doubt in my mind. They're the one who killed Tenko. Only one person had the opportunity and the motive. Yes, it's who was, Kaido! Who was right, one that draw magic circle? I dare you, you step out and tell me now. Who drew me well, magic circle? Who fucked I'm, <laughs> I'm oh. sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry, dude. But all of right. me was me? <laughs> Kyo, was it you? Hmm. <laughs> 
Whatever are you talking about? Uh, Kyo, Kyo, I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Oh, huh? Huh? Kyo? <laughs> Why do you suspect little old me? Maybe it's because you were the one that drew the magic circle, sir. Oh, I'm not good yet. Man, Murder you've been fucking with us. Favorite thing to you've been fucking with us this whole goddamn time. This oh whole time. <laughs> They're basically pointing out all the evidence, and it's already, like, three steps past Keo's the obvious person. <laughs> and they all just, like, kind of turn to Keo. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> he looks behind my Yeah. <laughs> Cl clever rules, this one. <laughs> the, cir <laughs> the, the circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. Ugh. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the, ma the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit! Well, Keo. Answer already. Did you do it? Yeah. Oh. Um. I'm new to humor, so uh, I might be confused here. But why? Thinking. Why is this funny? Uh. So this is how each black and must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What an intriguing experience? But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, duh. So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the dark floorboard during that darkened seance? Nobody well, like, everybody would have seen me in the complete darkness. <laughs> How will you expect me to jump on floorboards when I know I have legs? <laughs> <laughs> I see. That is a problem. How is this a problem? <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. Man, you're... You're not trying very hard, are you, buddy? You could. How could you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please answer answer my question. Oh, okay. Hey, Korakio, I got a question. Is this for business or pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> the culprit stepped on that exact floorboard, even in the in the darkness. But how? How did they move around in total darkness? In a room that dark, it's hard to imagine the culprit found the right board. Although, even after I put out the candle, I could move along the wall with my hand. Wait a minute, maybe... Uh, Did you figure it out? That's it! The culprit didn't ha didn't even have to see it all! They used... their legs! Um, Sixth sense. Hearing, touch, touch, touch smell. Probably. Yeah, I guess. They, oh, could he... Uh, he couldn't feel the salt. Uh, but he's... You couldn't smell the salt. That's, well, a touch, touch, I mean, do it, touch, do it, touch, do it, touch, do it. Touch, touch, touch. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go with right. touch. Sure. I just didn't want us to run out of time. Sorry. The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. That way, they could get around in the dark, like how I got the candle. Wasn't she saw it in the middle of the room? Gondor doesn't think it was near a wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move them, right? Nah, but are there any other markers within reach? Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. <laughs> he couldn't just say there was nothing of the sort, he had to say of course the answer to that was... <laughs> the thing that I'm about to say is what I will preface now with the following. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Yet. I'm sure there was something. A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard were the, the floorboard was. I must have it must have been at the scene. I know it. Hangman's gambit? Yeah, alright. Uh oh, oh, wait. Oh, hey guys, um no minutes, I actually have to duck out for a little bit. Sure. Okay. Uh okay. see you in a sec. G. Alright, how about um C? <laughs> uh, how about A? 
<laughs> it makes right. such a pleasant noise like you got the right answer before. <laughs> my wrong. Okay, it's M. Mm, magic circle. Oh yeah, magic circle. Magic yeah. circle. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, M A. So did G, he just feel G. around with his feet until he felt the rim of the salt? <laughs> I. Yes. Because I would be much more willing to believe he just fucking memorized where it was before I believed. Yeah, I would. I, I would. I will. I thought he just jumped. <laughs> right? Like he would just remember uh, where he was standing R. during the the okay. ritual, and then he would be like, "Okay, I just need jump these high, these far, and it all be good. She die fast." Exactly. Well, okay. It's, so it's the thing that he saw wasn't in front of him. Right, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it couldn't have been because he was over in the corner. But that's it! The magic circle! They used the magic circle! Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The, the culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. That's All right. Oh, like they stepped on the edge of it and yeah. it just crinkled, it like crinkled under their foot, I guess? I guess. All right. Through their shoes? I could believe uh, it. No, he traced the magic circle with his... Oh, not to read your line, but... <clears throat> I see. So Kyo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floor, Lord. Lord, damn it. <laughs> the nice callback. <laughs> uh, unintentional. Yeah, so let's just call it that. Oh, it's just I easy see. to say that. <laughs> you drew the magic circle with thought to use it as a guide. How stupid. Mm. Yay. Kyo, <laughs> Kyo. An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Uh-uh. Looks like a circle. Yeah, it does. Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. Okay. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, duh. The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, duh. You couldn't have taken a single fucking step forward? But you're not talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No. I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. But I don't have memorized where a floorboard was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. Magic Circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. I see. Another piece of the puzzle. So, okay, Drawing hold on. Sorry. Does it really fucking matter if the, if the circle's been trampled on... Like, it was smudged before we trampled on it, right? So, I mean, uh -huh. he could have just swept his foot across the salt until he felt it and then jumped on it. We have five yeah. witnesses who would be able to say whether or not the corners touched the circle. Yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway. Drawing the circle with salt all but guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself would have gotten rid of the evidence. Clever. Everyone... May I have your attention, please? <laughs> yeah. What a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Uh, excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. Hey! May I have your attention, please? <laughs> oh. Ah, I said cut that out. It's too bright. I apologize. I just want everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Miu add another function to my body, in addition to the oh. flashlight. Oh, did nyak, she? Nyak, nyak, nyak. Ah, what the? No way! Did you really? Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that puppet! Please, let me use it. With it, I might be able to save everyone. Oh, God. All right, so uh, what is this function, Kibo? Dick Cam. It is an image recording function. Oh no! Kanta? Kanta? Anybody? Oh, image recording. 
Uh, all right. <laughs> Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a print out of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Oh. Is he gonna come? Please tell me it's gonna come out of his mouth. Please tell me it's gonna come out of his mouth. Please, please. Please tell me it doesn't open with a very pornographic scene between him and Mio. It's like, oh, probably. yeah, I mean, that's probably why she was scared. Like, hold on, I have to get through all these ones of uh, Mio getting <laughs> dressed. Hold on. Oh, uh, God. Ready? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm From your mouth? Okay, I'm, I'm back. Um, <laughs> Here's sorry, the image to come I, back on. It was, a, it was a call I had to take. And also, what the hell? This uh, is my new favorite thing Kibo's he, done. Kibo realized he can um, read people's memories by tasting photographs of uh, us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's yeah, a printer. He a, I'm sorry, he's a printer. Fuck yeah, Sherlyn. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was so taken aback by this. I didn't even read the name. I've also used magic like that before. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of this seance. <laughs> Oh. Please confirm that the floorboard of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see it for yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, th thanks, dude. I reluctantly imagine. took the paper. I took the paper from Kibo's mouth. <laughs> just imagine <laughs> Kibo sadly looking in after he got kicked out, just like <laughs> depressed. He's just like, <sighs> click. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the magic circle used for the seance. Oh. And here's me crying in the corner. <laughs> and here's me trying to listen to the walls. Oh. And here's me eating cold soup. <laughs> well, Suichi, do you notice anything? Notice anything, huh? Well, huh? Gee, I wonder. Do I notice anything? Is that the question? Do I notice anything? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh... Uh, the lines leading to the corners? Yeah, obviously. Oh no, I, yeah. is it, uh, I think it's back here, this missing line. What? No, no I think it's the lines it's leading to the corners. Well, it's just that this line extends So show here, me where to click. So just click, I guess. Any uh, of the you... corners that have, like, these little lights. Oh shit, okay. uh, means... alright. Oh, Got it! Because okay. he followed that little line leg into the center of the circle. This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you, I never would have been able to see through Kyo's lie. My lie? You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners. Which means that you wouldn't be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it was different from the document after all. Or because Himiko noticed, and because of Kibo, too. Also, Kibo was there. <laughs> hey, where's my thanks? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Hey, yeah, what was it that you were saying about its purpose? Oh, but your purpose is to shut your fucking mouth, space case. <laughs> Oh, uh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Oh, your health, of course. Oh, okay. oh come on. Uh, next. Just Do, do you want gonna... next? All right. Yeah, All right. it's just stupid. Okay, well, we're going to talk about this for a while, so I guess we you've just elected that School we're going to skip health the next is headline. a very good indicator of overall personal health. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Just as he, as he says. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Uh how long is this gonna go on? Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Kyo, you killed Tenko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. Me, so Kyo, Kyo, I'm still confused as to why exactly you need me oh, to personally oh, use oh, oh. I didn't even think oh, yeah. that. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> you interrupted my joke, Kyo. I was doing a bit there, but whatever. You take the stage. Gotcha. For example, if you have, if you produce a uh, ghost white stool that is the same color as the porcelain of the toilet, okay. you might have, you might have cancer or be J. <laughs> yes, I'm bringing that back. I. All right, Corkio. Will. 
I'm not recovering from that one, am I? <laughs> no. Is Jay even in the chat? <laughs> no one is going to... Oh, there oh, he is. There he is. He says, I'm sorry. You're welcome for that call, Biak. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant, but it may be amusing diversion. Unimportant. Now I shall bear witness to your abilities, Shuji. You entertain me. <laughs> You're just fucking Frieza now. <laughs> You're just fucking an evil human being. The, you, you probably didn't have a reason for doing this. You just wanted to see what it was like. Oh. You're going to claim I am culprit. Oh, right. Oh, shit. What of the murder? Oh. It what? was set up in the cage. Oh, oh what of the murder weapon? The only person capable of that are Kotichi and Shuichi who carried the cage. Or person who carried sheet, which was a cable. <laughs> <laughs> Kyo's attitude, attitude is disconcerting. But first, I need to counter his argument! Alright. Well, let's get back through that. Eh. Alright. Uh, Alright. It's hard to aim this, actually. Okay. There we go. You and uh, the I'm still just thinking about poop. Uh, oh. I think this is new now. Ah, oh, shit. On advance! <laughs> True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage! That was Miko. The only person who could have detected the sickle is Himiko. The only person who could have placed the sickle was these other people. What? In regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor the lit something. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. Uh, it's the white sheet, yep. But I am not the killer. I'm not, I did not kill her. <laughs> I did not. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Shuichi. I'm sure that the Kyo is the culprit. He had a way of getting oh, hi, that murder Maki. weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I can prove it. Okay, now I gotta be good at video games. Oh, shit. Bad at it. Bad at video games. Alright. Uh, that. The only problem with all of this is that he's not gonna be the black end then. So. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's gonna get away, away with this. Well, Unless he also killed Angie. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and this whole rigmarole is trying to throw up off his scent. Yeah. The only person who could have set up the sickle and retreated it afterward is Keo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. Yup. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you drop when you draped the cloth. Obviously. Yep. <laughs> and retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. We figured this out when we figured out the sickle situation. Yeah. yeah. Then, then while everyone was distracted, you s discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Oh. Wonderful. Uh, That's exactly correct. Uh, is what I, I, I mean, would like I mean, to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except this is fake out again. I have it in camera there and there. <laughs> Too bad what? it does not matter if I killed uh, uh, Tonka. Uh, <laughs> wow. Tonka. Looks, looks at smudged hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's correct. Then why don't you just give up already? He, 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 he. The trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Oh, yes. So it was you. You killed Tanko. Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko... You must hate me so very much. Maybe you'll feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But at last, that will not... <laughs> but unfortunately yeah. for you, that won't happen. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. <laughs> okay, so first the joke that came to mind was, You thought it was the Blackened? Twas I, Keo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now. What you talking about, Keo? What you talking about, Keo? Did you get that reference? It's from like 
40 years ago, I watched a TV show once. Is it an anime? Because I didn't get it. Kihihi, <laughs> <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tinkle. That is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. <laughs> meaningless? You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Ah, that's right. What happens to your vote if there if, if there are two blackened candidates? Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first served. You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Uh, trivial issue? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie, too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh. <clears throat> Only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I po have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tenko, you've got to be the one who killed Angie. Himiko. I understand how you feel, Himiko. But maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. This is a non-zero possibility that Kia was telling the truth. So, you understand how she feels, I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? When the fuck did that happen? Of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Aw, that's sweet. Hey, where are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough. It's voting time. I'm acting really suspicious all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? I am confused. Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, da? Huh? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying. You killed Tenko and Angie. No, hold on. Jumping to con conclusions here is dangerous. Talk to the suspicious. Mm -hmm. Yes. We said talk it out more. This case might have some juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Nuts to that! Any way you look at the case, Gio's obviously the culprit. Yes. There's sort of no other way to look at it. Sorta. Kinda. Maybe. No. It's too dangerous to vote before we arrive to a logical decision. Everybody's a lot less frightened of Kyo right now than I expected them to be. <laughs> Hold on! Wowee! This argument is getting intense! Well, at times like these, oh, shit. the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very, mo very own more phenomenal Trial Ground. Yippee! I've been waiting for this. Oh, damn it. I love the part where. Why were you? <laughs> Why were you waiting for it, Kokichi? Kyo confessed to killing Tenko, but insists he didn't kill Angie. We won't forgive Kyo for what he did. We can't vote until we know the facts. I have to pin down the evidence and convince everyone. And now we go up into the ceiling for some reason. And now we go up. Like a trial in the sun. In the sky. There we are. <laughs> the song is so banging. <laughs> I'm not dancing, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what is the question that we're asking here? Did Keo do it? Yes. Did Keo should, kill we even, should we even vote for Keo? Or if, should we even discuss Keo? Or should we just vote now? Okay. Alright, I'm going to get first try, let's go. 
Kino, Kino, Tanko, and DMG. We don't know that for certain that Kyo killed Angie. Uh, she, he forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! And it could have entered my lab. What? Oh, the katana was found in Kyo's lab. Lab? But Oh. Anyone could have entered my lab. <laughs> <laughs> you did kill Tenko, but he not blackened. Anyone could have entered my lab. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone could have entered his lab. <laughs> the second black is we need to find. He was planning to use a new role to protect himself all along. Not possible. <laughs> Anyone could have entered my lab. <laughs> He solved the mystery of Tenko's death. Can't we just vote now? Not yet! There's still another mystery to solve, and I fucked up that one. God damn it. Oh. The Cobra forced the way into Angie's lab and killed her! When we are inconsistent, our position looks weak. We have to work together! If we vote now, we'll never know the truth. We have to defend that point, but I fucked up the one. Fuck, hang on. Give me a second. Is there a way to skip the- Yeah, I can do that. And then... Wait, this is the one. This is the- Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit! I don't know which one it is! Oh, no! It's not Lab! It's Angie? Uh, Angie, try Angie. Is it, is it Angie? I think so. But he couldn't yep, get into Angie's research lab. Hey. But they could've gotten Least... into my yeah, lab. Yeah, <laughs> 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 get, get out of here, Kurikio! I don't think you understand. <laughs> they couldn't get into my lab! You don't get it! Uh, <laughs> Crouch by! Crouch by! I, fuck, I fucking love this minigame, it's so good. Give him the D! The D! The A! Give him the R! <laughs> Full counter. Nobody's pre there's four people defending Kyo right now. And one of them's Kokichi. Uh, it would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. It is still the mystery of Tenko's murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Kyo's confession derailed our, our conversation just a little bit. Because he was acting like a psychopath. But we have to go over one of the clues found in Tenko's crime scene. I it um, I believe it might have something to do with Angie's murder. Yes, the outlying piece of evidence in Tanko's murder scene. Uh, 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 duct tape. Who could and could not have entered Kyo's lab? <laughs> so what, what is the question? Tanko's. What what was the piece of evidence <coughs> that Tanko's murder scene that was uh, fully answered yet? No, not at Tank. Not at Tanko's. At Angie's. Oh, it's at Angie's. Okay. Yeah. Unless I'm wrong. No, I think it's Angie's, but I'm pretty oh, okay. sure it's this. This right, was found on the back of this was found okay. on the back of Angie's. Oh, oh yeah, no, it is. There was a bloody piece of tape underneath Angie's body. That's right. I wondered about that. I think we need a closer look at the whole situation so we can find out what happened. My voice is really inconsistent in the stream, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's staring at me. I screwed up. Yeah. They think I'm a fraud. What? Okay, what do you think it is, Impulsion? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, what was, oh, I thought I, you had my... No, no, sorry. What was... Was there any evidence at... There's Tenko stuff down here. Was it the cut-off right. piece of wood? Cut-off that... piece of wood. No, that's a Tenko's. Is that already... I could have swore it said Tenko's, but I guess I was just misreading. Um, Because I don't know what other evidence we found at Angie's Maybe lab. the forehead... Maybe the forehead injury. Uh... I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the game. Dried blood I, under the floorboard. I. I mean, if you think it's ten, we're talking about Tenko's situation, then I'll go find that. But um. Oh, you know what? I actually hope that you're right because that does make a lot of sense. Yeah, the dried blood. Okay. Yeah, you're right. My bad. My bad. I thought we were talking about Angie's thing. Seeing it kind of swore. I'm sorry. sorry. The blood stain found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. It was beneath the floor blur that the, that the culprit stomped on. You could have swore, but you chose not to. <laughs> Is that Tenko's blood? That blood stain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. 
Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it, but the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was the that one blood stain the only dry one? Oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> oh, that's weird. The blood stain under the floorboard was dry because, uh, it happened before the seance. It was there before Tenko was killed. Well, both of those are true. It was from yeah, the investigation. Uh, it happened before the seance, I guess. Got it! Yeah. It happened okay. as Tenko was being killed. That's why it's there. Yeah. What? Just what? keep going. Wait, it Okay. The bloodstain wasn't from Tenka's murder. It was from before we started the seance. Before the seance? That should make it clear whose blood it was. The bloodstain from before the seance. It has to be Korokio, right? Or Kokichi. Well, Kokichi didn't bleed until afterwards. Wait, is it Angie? Why would it be Angie's? She had a forehead wound. Okay, choose it. Guess. Is it right? It's right! Okay, got it! That blood stain wasn't Tenko's, it was Angie's. Yeah. Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tenko's murder? That's a great question. Yeah. yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Wait, was Angie planning on killing somebody in that room? Just because yes, we found her body there doesn't mean she was yep. killed there. Oh, I, I guess that's possible. Oh! If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assume that the only council members who could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect death the council members anymore. So the culprits didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. This is this is taking me completely aback. All of my options were in the council. I don't know who the an I don't know who the answer is anymore. <laughs> I mean, you guys are getting real suspicious of. Uh, never mind. Kokichi? No. Kokichi would never kill somebody. I, you, you didn't get this one. So I went to places Andy might have gone, and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Huh? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Andy would go. Did Andy have business in rooms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems Kokichi is up to his usual misleading nonsense again. <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now, too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. No. And she left her lab on her own and headed to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true, or... Wait a minute. Did Korokio do it? Did Korokio actually kill both of them? <coughs> that would be convenient. <laughs> yes. The art uh, research lab is not any it's not where Andy was killed. Uh, she was killed in, in the empty room whoa. instead. Yeah. The, she left her lab on her own? Hmm. Or do you? Why don't you go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. Oh! She wanted the candle! It. That might actually be it. To keep herself awake at night. Okay. Uh, she would drip Typical out wax on her body. That sounds like something only you would do, Mio. What did Kukichi see? Something Angie did. There has to be a clue there. Did she All right, so for the um, the wax. The, does the, the wax oh, does the Necronomicon have um say you need a wax? She was gonna burn it. She was gonna burn the Necronomicon. The book, book, yeah. The book, yeah. The book. Okay. The yeah, book. it's the book. Use the book. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. Don't you dare. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Consent with me. Break you. 
I don't even need to make that one. <laughs> That's it. Angie went to that room to get the candle. No. <laughs> yeah, for kinky wax play. No. Angie was going to use it for the ritual. Yeah, no. for, no. for kinky wax play. <laughs> no kinky wax ritual. <laughs> according to the next appearance. I was going to use it for kinky wax. If you look at the Necronomicon closely, you'll see there's an entire chapter for kinky wax. <laughs> and finally, uh, at least someone sees where I'm coming from. I don't... Why do I hang out with you all? According <laughs> to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead... Yep. After... After, pre after preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Then, did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's right. There's nothing to start a fire within Angie's lab. I yep, mean, rub yep. Some sticks together. Oh. So she wants to get a candle from one of those empty rooms. That's when the culprit attacked her. That. Oh, that's why there was dry blood under the floor. So they split the floorboard, maybe. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the dance was held. Bravo, Yamiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. Nope. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboard. But that's right. Suichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep. It's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. Mm -hmm. That must be a two as well. Or maybe the power of magic. It's neither. I just picked one. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room and then moved to the lab? <coughs> How do you explain the large amounts of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. What's... I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Hmm? She was killed after she was carried to her lab. That means the culprit attacked her twice. I have evidence of that. Uh, is that the forehead injury? Uh, the yeah. Monokuma file, or something. Or the Monokuma file. What? Well, like, would it say there were multiple wounds? Well, I can't. Oh wait, hang on. Is that like? Yeah. Okay. So wait a minute. Nah, never mind. I'll, I'll whine later. Um. <laughs> Or maybe it is the forehead injury. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Victim was killed by the fatal stab wound to the torso. Additionally, she has lacerations yes, on her forehead. That's it. Okay. All right. Is it the Monokuma file? Fuck. Really? What? What relevance does the description of her injuries have? None. There is no evidence to prove it. Is there really no evidence, though? Hmm. If she didn't die in the empty room, then why was she attacked twice? The culprit must have been a big, bad meanie to do that. Everyone's staring at me. All right, dang it, Rompa. Uh, how about the forehead injury then? Sure. Got it. Okay, that makes more sense. It should have. I steered you wrong. I'm sorry. It, no, that's fine. No, the I fatal just... wound. We, I that made much more sense to me. The, fa the fatal wound was a cut to the back of her head from a katana, but she showed signs of blunt force trauma, and I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. What puddle of blood? The one she's sitting on. Oh, right. Blood blood. Ha! It's all clear now. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab, and it was there that the culprit finished her off. Oh. oh. All clear? This is all clear? <laughs> what are you all talking about? All oh, clear? What is... What is all clear? Uh, what is... 
What are you? Uh, all clear? Oh shit, what is he getting possessed? You, you, you went out for another word. What? What? Uh, what? Were we right? You were right! Sweet Correctio, I... calm yourself. Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. What? <laughs> what? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Okay. They yeah. they must have personality disorder and they or, they believe they're like or, their or, own mother or sister. I think he, or no, I think he's possessed, or he thinks he's possessed, or maybe he just wears lipstick sometimes. Come on, let's, let's <laughs> maybe. Like that. Yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. Okay, no, he, there's something wrong here. <laughs> what what the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies. <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts and mysteries of a dense impenetrable fog. Nothing is clear at all. We uh, might not okay, even get an answer to that this trial. <laughs> we might have <laughs> to wait to another stream to figure out what that just was. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, and it wasn't checked in the empty room. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. And then carry into research lab. Yes. Uh. That's well, impossible. What? Uh oh. But you really hard to read. That's nothing. Delusion. <laughs> you trying to poison our minds with your delusion? Oh shit! What? Oh come on! His change in demeanor means I must be onto something. All I have to do is perfectly get this whole thing. Apparently. All right. Give me a second. I just have to be perfect. Boop. Uh, boop. Oh shit! Corkio! Nope! Nope! Corkio! Okay, thank god. Eh. There. Advance! It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story! After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed! Just repeating myself. No. The fake culprit carried away Angie's body, uh, and not a single drop of blood. Oh, oh. So your oh. blood is holding your blood stain. No, I didn't do it right. <laughs> so did you see blood in the hallway? Then why wasn't it smeared all over? Because it's not there, is it? Yep. You're just bending the facts to make me suspicious. What kind of detective are you? I made a mistake. I need to think it over again. Uh, okay, we'll try that again. I thought it was the bloody... Is it not the bloody duct tape? Hang on, what else do I even have? Goldie, Katana, Loose Floorboard, Minecraft of File 3. What? What is Minecraft File 3? That just Uh, helps. I'm gonna try moving past it. Oh, hey. Hmm? This is new. Even ah! if you write it down something, there's still ah! traces left behind. No evidence! Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is! Ah! There we oh. go. I've got Sorry, Corky, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> you fucked up! There was there was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. But I was it was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was, it was it was under the body. It's most likely the evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to, to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt. It ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for us. Must have been. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind, Angie, behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Well, fuck, I freaking wonder it's now. Still Corkio. <laughs> it's still It's definitely still Corkio. It is absolutely Corkio. Oh, Decide! Boring. Yeah, a little bit, but oh well. 
It's you, Keo. You killed Angie. <laughs> what the fuck? So it's true. Well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious <laughs> answer. Yeah. And you know, killed them both. Why? Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Why? Why you killed them both? I just really I think... didn't like Tenko. <laughs> Tenko was just his murder. alibi. I couldn't have <laughs> killed Angie, I killed Tenko! <laughs> it's true. I think one of the murders was an accident. An accident? More That's like right, it wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? The murder that was an accident. I'm gonna say it's Angie's, and that he did the Tanko murder the to cover. The one was pretty damn obvious. Yeah, it seems like he really wanted to kill Tenko. Yeah. Got it! It would be a really crazy accident if he set all that shit up and was like, actually, I didn't mean to do any of that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm getting at here. Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tenko wasn't accident? That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with the seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. Oh, shit. Cold. I see. He, he got found out. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. <laughs> la 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 la, I'm just here to get to Kanto. Keep up with whatever you're doing over there. I, oh, God! <laughs> she, ju she just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then he should have just stopped there. Once he killed Angie, there was no reason for him to kill Tenko. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. I do have a question, though. Why did Keo admit to this? I don't know. I feel I feel like there's not a lot of evidence that points to him being the one that killed Angie. Right? Am I wrong? I don't, he seems... I don't think he has admitted to it. We just figured it out. It seems... Well, I guess it's pretty telling. He's really bad at defending himself lying. at this point. Yeah. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What, what is... What on earth are you talking about? Did one oh, of his yeah. personalities kill the other? Kill Angie? I, yeah, and... I'm that's not, possible. I'm not the culprit. Mm. Yeah. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why are they? Why are they, Why is it? Call me. Call me yourself, Korikyu? Duh. Oh boy. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. The story world is not worth recognizing over. You're, you're right, yeah. You're, you're right. What? The chat says, what if the transfer student comes back in another person's body? I don't... I don't know about... Th the Necronomicon what? is still here. The Necronomicon is still here. Well, maybe... So I don't... The, maybe that you... Maybe you have to burn it in order to get rid of the spirit. And since it was never burned, the spirit's still here. Maybe. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Someone! He's talking to himself! And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? Who are you to judge? I was gonna say, like, your opinions are very close-minded for somebody who <laughs> talks about kinky wax play and photographing their shit in the same trial. Look, yeah. I can understand someone putting lipstick on their dick, but on their face? <laughs> what? Jesus. What? <laughs> no matter how loud you protest, this is trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations, not a single one of them. What do you see? There is no evidence that I killed Angie. <laughs> no, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I will not acknowledge fiction. 
mystery. Or alternative facts. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Corikio. It's Angie! Uh, hey. No. Angie did what no. I That's true. Blah! Creeps me the fuck out! No evidence. There's no evidence that he killed Angie? I'm You're wrong. So there is evidence. Right now. Me too. Well, Angie's soul is possessing him. You do no, it's not like keeping him. Angie. That won't work, duh. Why would he be wearing lipstick? That doesn't matter. Right. That's completely unrelated. <laughs> yeah, Corey Q just had the lipstick on and when yeah. Angie took over his body. All right, Re All right. reference the Miu conversation. Some dudes just All right. wear lipstick. You're right, you're right. The weapon that uh, was oh, used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Kyo. <laughs> That's not possible. I think we may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. Apologize, apologize, apologize. Come on, apologize, 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 apologize. apologize. Seriously, what the hell is happening? I have no idea what's happening with Kiyo. I have no idea. But I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have to prove it to him. Uh. Oh, oh. Oh, that's oh, cool looking. Um, what? Oh, shit. What are we doing? Oh. I guess shit. that's the Korakio art. Interesting. Uh. Yeah, Korakio's back there. Oh, is Korakio Yeah, Japanese? he's like hiding behind everything. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely done this. Shit. I'm so bad at this. Ah, oh, shit. His uh, outfit doesn't look Japanese to me. It is. It's a Shinto uh, shrine, like, monk outfit. Oh, no, uh, not, not this one. This one's definitely Japanese. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's a normal outfit. Oh, it's normal outfit. Wears, no, no. I think everyone wears Japanese outfits here. I don't think Korki is uh, any more Japanese than the other character here. <laughs> He's pure-blooded Japanese. Everyone else is some sort of mixture. Like, like Maki's the most Japanese person. <laughs> is, is, is Sonya Japanese? Okay, technically no, Sonya's not Japanese, <laughs> but she's not in this game. And there. Kokichi's... Kokichi can't be Japanese, he's a dictator or something. <laughs> I mean, he's just an, a ruler of an evil organization. Like, I mean, Shit. he can still be Japanese. Alright, level three. Let's go. Okay. Now it gets difficult. Oh. Time ah. Here we go. Metapod, Marowak, Hippopotamus, Lefairy, Dedrea, Wildflame, Krabby, Flickitung, Tauros, Weedle, Nidoran, Machop, Shit, Shelter, Shit, Shit, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you poker rapping over there? I'll take the parts if you want. Get <laughs> fucked, Gorkyo. Fuck. Fuck. Uh. Oh, go. Oh, no, wait, you need this. Uh, I don't need use... Where's the timing? Shit. There it is. Get fucked, Cora Q. Oh, that's what it says. Yeah. I'm not the culprit. <laughs> Fucking Kaede, get out of here. Oh, shit. No, he's so close to dead. Don't end yet. Don't end yet. Yes, good, nice. Oh, final blow. What is it? Uh, uh, we uh, move more forward. Yeah, yeah. All right, good, good. Got it. Nice. What? All right. What? Um. Okay, maybe it's not Angie. <laughs> Never mind. Q hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. <laughs> that <clears throat> girl. I see. And how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon? There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Blood that splattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there, the floorboard no must not have been in place at the time of the attack. 
Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood would have been splattered underneath. Alright. Kyo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used! How? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard we saw from the seesaw trick... It means the culprit knew about the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie! Uh, oh... 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 I believe that while Kyo was setting up for the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. Yes, go on, Paul Shane. Say it. Yep, it's a thing. Go on, Paul Shane. Shane, you there? Oh, oh no, he's not. Oh, I'm, I'm back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey. You missed me say cold cocked. Aww. <laughs> And he cold cocked it with the floorboard! Oh, okay. Well, there's it's one thing you don't nah. want, it's a cold cock. Okay. All I can do now is accept it. You even confess to Tanko's murder, I'll bet you. <laughs> it, yeah. So it's true. This is the truth. Oh. 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 Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi, I'll leave the fi finale to you. Bring down the house! Shuichi, please put an end to this. For Angie and Tenko's sake, and the class trial. I understand. I'll go over, I'll go over everything one more time. Kyo, I want you to confess. No, I'll force you to confess. Even if you did do it, but you with did. comics. <laughs> yes. Uh, who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Well, obviously it was Korakio. Do I have that yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Korakio nope. just in the empty room, like, hum -de dum 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 sawing the floor ports open, and Angie's just like, oh, hello there. <laughs> well, hello. Working on a spot of art, are you? Aw, right. poor Angie. Arts and crafts. <laughs> yes, you believe. <laughs> I am doing wonderful thing with flooring in here. It's a little look great when done. Uh, what weapon killed Angie? Would uh, you believe this is how I express myself? <laughs> yes. Um, what? Ooh, <laughs> I'm not taking chances. Snaps <laughs> <laughs> with the katana. Oh, we don't have that yet. The handle of the spinning katana. Oh, it whacked the it whacked the the sliding lock. Sliding yeah. Lock. Yep. The sliding yeah, pole. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> when Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? Uh, or the, uh, or Kikiki. Sorry. Well, yes, but uh, we don't have that okay. one yet. We'll come back. We'll come back to it. What object? Oh, we have that. We have that. Give me the rock. Yeah. Like Thor. There we go. Like Tiertel. Circle Tiertel. Uh, what weapon did the? Culprit set up on the. I don't think we have that either, but maybe we do. Uh, sickle place to kill. Is it this? Yes. Alright, good. Uh, how about this one? Who besides Kokichi was responsible? Oh, it was me. Uh, I don't think I have that either. Come back to it. How was the culprit able to move around in the sands? It was in the dark. It was the Triple. salt that was on the floor. We have that. We only have uh, one more. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. There we go. I oh, know, we have and one then, more. Okay. When the culprit approached the cage... They put this... Oh, no, wait. What's that last picture? Uh, this one? Yeah, that's not helping. Remove the gold. Uh, how that. did the magic okay. circle get erased? I think uh, maybe I have to use this somewhere before yeah. I can unlock all that other stuff. We have um, one more picture we have to place. It's a countdown on the locks. Removed the gold leaf... It's not this, is it? No. What, what weapon? There, what oh, weapon? Is it this? Uh, yeah, she, they killed her. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, cool. And now we can access all these. Kokichi's lock picking. Whose effigy was stabbed? Look at that Ooh, cute little that. bastard. Look at him go. Footsteps <laughs> 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 contaminating the scene. Oh, we'll get to that eventually. Uh, cut cross piece under the floor. No, Who's what about all these ones up here? Stab at the katana. Is that really necessary? <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to remind you about your dead girlfriend again. Hope that's okay. Shuichi extinguishes the flame. There we go. And, uh, oh wait, not that one, but this one. When the culprit approached the cage, 
Uh, they stomped hard on the floorboard! Yeah! Uh, the magic circle get erased. This. And then this last one goes somewhere. In the last hole. There we go! Boy, Vix! Then is the first hole. Yeah, I got it! Nice. Let's look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. The culprit was preparing the seance murder that they had planned. <laughs> what is he doing with the finger there? Like hey, yes, pointing down, uh, point, <laughs> pointing down under the floorboard. Like, oh, there is there is space here. Right. <laughs> to, to use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had cut the crosspiece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and to whoever picked a room. <laughs> To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine that they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. La, la, oh, that's adorable! La, la, la. Uh. <laughs> However, when the culprit was working in the middle room, the unexpected happened. Oh! Angie walked into the room and saw the culprit making their preparations. She needed some fire for the ritual and gone to the room for a candle. At that point, take your skin and close. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Angie might have concluded that it was tied to, to some kind of murder plan. But now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any other pl person might have just given up, but not our culprit. <laughs> not our Corkio. Nope. Uh, 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 well, sucks for her. Brick! Uh, cock! The culprit. Smash! The culprit took the. Bull cocked! <laughs> Damn it. The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. Slap. Funk. The culprit did not want to give up there on his plan and had to improvise. <laughs> That's some, just that. some juicy blood you got. <laughs> <laughs> they, wrapped duct <laughs> they wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. <laughs> no sense letting a perfectly good seesaw murder go to waste. <laughs> and they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to the research lab. La, 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 la. <laughs> shh. Also, shh, shh, shh. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. What? Letter. <laughs> But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. So she was killed with the sword, right? Yes, they're gonna stab her right now. Shouldn't shouldn't he have like gold leaf all over his hands? Where's um, the wrappings? He could have easily switched them off. That's true, that's true. Carrying the supplies they needed, the, cul the culprit re returned to the ultimate art lab. Oh, unless he didn't. Actually, it seems like he did not, because now he's bringing it. And I think she's already dead. Uh, lock the front door from the inside. Wait, so we're supposed to... Unless I'm wrong. I was wrong three times. They took out, they took out the katana they brought from their own lab. Slash! Okay. And then they stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Oh! <laughs> Hey, don't tie those on too tightly, okay? Then to, f then to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. That's what she said! First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four <laughs> effigies upside down. Can you like, being in this room with a dead body? Shit, I need to make a locked room mystery now. <laughs> 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 Hang on, what's around here? Meow, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Wax sculptures, I can use those. <laughs> but what they pickle? Make locker room mystery. <laughs> Which should I use? <laughs> to review, I will play Danganronpa 1. <laughs> and then he replays all of Danganronpa 1 before he sets this up. There were two reasons for this. <laughs> to overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. And the other was the, was the key to, lo to locking the room. 
Stab! The culprit yeah. stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the, near the rare entrance. Nice uh, gravity defying skirt there. Nice. Well, I mean, it's a wax sculpture! <laughs> and spun the effigy around to twist up the rope. You don't usually make the clothes out of wax. You don't? No! Also, Do you not? Because that's a terrifying thing that, that I'm hearing. Does that mean I can go to a wax museum and then I can look at, like, Richard Nixon's balls? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, no, because... Depends on how detailed. It's usually just, like, the head and the hands, and the rest is just, like, a wire frame. Or oh, that's disappointing as hell. Them. Wax yeah. sculptures just heads and hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just ruining everybody's dreams here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for, and headed for the rear door. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Okay, what if the wax sculptures of someone who notoriously wears shorts, though? You'd at least need to get some caps in there. Oh, hey! Okay. Sure. <laughs> Forget what I just said. <laughs> Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. Without I context, can you never confirm guess. Any wax sculpture of Lyndon B. Johnson will definitely have his balls. <laughs> <laughs> the handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock, locking the door. I'm pretty sure it did as well. <laughs> a typical trip, but remember that the lock was so loose that it moved at the slightest touch. The culprit would also have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Yeah, explain it away, bitch. Whatever. <laughs> Damn. Once complete, the door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. And perhaps the culprit moved, noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. <laughs> as he's stepping out, he catches it in the corner of his eye as the door's shutting, and he's just like, Oh, shit, I fucked up. Fuck. <laughs> then this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good sound effects. Damn, I like it. But the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. <laughs> <laughs> they were hungry for more. <laughs> To do that, they manipulated us into performing the seance. Damn, good damn, they're gonna kill the kid and make a seance come do it, guys. Of the three nice. empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place during the seance. Mm. <laughs> Tega volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed that they needed something for Tenko. It was yes. a, rock. a small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. I thought that the fact that she had brought the stone was going to come up, but I guess not. Nope. Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, okay. guys, I can't wait to do the seance with you. I've been looking forward to this all day. <laughs> Oh, by the way, we uh, we can't use you anymore, Kivo. Go wait outside. Yeah, sorry, you're a robot. Can't do it. <laughs> Next, Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over can't, Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. Can't do it. This robot. <laughs> <laughs> not, not today. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. We didn't realize it at the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. <laughs> they needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tenko. <laughs> Much more dramatic this way. <laughs> while we were while we were covering, oh, they were covering the stage with the cloth. They secretly placed the sickle. Wait, there were there were like curse symbols up on top of the ceiling. I didn't uh, see that. Yeah, I guess there were like curse tape, uh, whatever. You want oh, to call them. yeah. Weird. All right. they didn't Finally, work. <laughs> four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. Thud. Oh yeah, good call. Oh, wait, it also says that. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. Oh, this is going to be unpleasant to say. Fire! After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. Uh, <laughs> oh, at last! Uh, <laughs> at last! At last. At last. <laughs> in complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the Cajun Child song. Oh, oh. At last, at last, at long last. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium, but her culprit had another plan to commit a murder in the darkness. 
<laughs> and then they did. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. Had a guide. This explanation might be, a, might be a little long, but oh well. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit fell for the salt and used it to guide them along. <laughs> and then when the culprit reached the center of the circle... Dash! They 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 found the they found the floorboard that had its cross beat cut right before the night before. Damn. Dash. Dash. Okay, take a breath. <laughs> then lifted the up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. Ow! The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tenko's body up towards the ceiling of the cage. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. She was killed right before our eyes and we didn't even see it! Because it was dark. Yeah. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. It looks like he's riding the salt. <laughs> like, like he's grinding on it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Finish the ritual. <laughs> and had us light the candles. Oh, dude, I play a Salt Raider game. And we followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. And Mika looks so tiny. I mean, she is tiny, but... She is. And discovered Tenko's body! Cookie, Bam! she looks nonplussed. Yeah, like, whoa, a dead body. Whoa, a dead body. And while we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. Ironically, the final, <laughs> the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. The evidence was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. Not only was she dead, she was salty Oh, wow. However, the culprit didn't know that Kipo had taken a picture. What re he really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. Okay, so but now what's her name? Is uh, Tsukimi, but the cosplay chick. Look at her face. Her looks so weird. Yeah. Ah, that's true. But now we know for certain, and now we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Ah! Oh my god. Korikyo Sh Shinguji, the ultimate anthropologist! You're the culprit behind these murders! Achoo! <laughs> Fucking got him. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits! Oh, 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 oh. Sweet Korikyo, there are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Uh, admit? <laughs> yeah, okay. So you finally admit you didn't. Unfortunately. Duh. Duh is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. My one regret. My only regret was getting caught. <laughs> huh? Was not being able to make 100 friends. What? 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 100 friends? I know, straight pass is a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was my dream to make 100 friends. On Twitter or something. <laughs> oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. Then I had to go and kill two of them. <laughs> what? Kibo? Kibo? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was looking at something that someone posted in the chat. Apparently, Jay called the lipsticks in stream one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it, it, it's a screenshot of Jay in the chat from stream one saying, if that zipper isn't hiding the perfect shade of lipstick, I will riot. So, <laughs> good <laughs> job, okay. Jason. It, it looks good. It's a good looking shade of lipstick. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I do not understand a word of this. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna be so mad if his whole motive was Angie started turning people against each other, and so that diminished his friend count. And so he's like, well, this ain't gonna do. Time to kill a bitch. 
<laughs> I think maybe Corey Keo might be a serial killer. And he's oh. uh tr he was trying to kill a hundred people. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Uh, my theory for his motive is Kurikio for me. <laughs> God damn it. Who gives damn a me. fuck? Let's vote for this kook kooky bastard and be done with this already. Yes, yeah, said kooky instead of kinky for once. I almost slipped up. <laughs> no, go fuck nice it. work. Ni nice work. We're proud of you. We're all very proud of you. Roger that. One voting time coming up. The heart racing excitement as... You. You. The heart racing excitement! It's the black and the spotless finally face off. It's <laughs> voting time! Meow. Mm. Alright, well. I'm really wondering where this uh, B plot line of the Mono Cubs is going. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Please wait. Sorry, Corkio. You're apparently, done, dude. Apparently the mono cuts were a very late addition to the game, and they were only put in after the whole game had been written. Which oh, is wait, really? I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> <laughs> now then, it seems the voting is finished. Let's see the result. Well, we're about to lose one. Corkio, do the right thing and take one of them with you, okay? <laughs> the results are in. Even he voted yeah. for himself. <laughs> Even he vo well, he said sometimes you have to admit defeat. Yeah, you're right. Uh, who will be chosen as the black end? We already know, but for some reason I'm saying this after the voting happened. The verdict. The Korakio says... Circle terrible. <laughs> 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 Yay! 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 We're rich! <laughs> Filthy rich! <laughs> uh, oh, no, we got a B. A single B. This will not we stand. Gotta, no, it can't. We can't. Yeah, let's we do can't it again. let it down there. We gotta restart yeah. from the beginning. Let's run it back. Mm -hmm. we doing, oh, we got two Bs. Oh, no. Oh, no. God. Jeez. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Wow, seriously, you're correct again! Amazing! This is the third correct verdict in a row! If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you'll proceed to the bonus round! How's this gonna last that long? It's finally over, isn't it? No, not yet. I haven't heard this bastard's answer yet. Kyo, why? Why why did you kill both of my girlfriends? You couldn't have left me just one? That would have been fine. Yeah, he no need to kill them both, no matter what motive he have. Motive? Hmm. Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even um, if it did, though, how did it trigger a murder? I'm calling no motive. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a fucking asshole. Yeah. I, I think he's a serial killer and was trying to get a hundred ghost friends all over him. You're horny. I mean, then why didn't he just ask? <laughs> Don't tell me. Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaito? Shut up! I never said I was scared. He he he. Your resurrection ritual had nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with it. Because of your friends, I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over such a silly thing as that. So it has nothing to do with the motive? What? For the one that I love. There is someone that I love from the bottom of my heart. Someone so dear. Someone I long for. Me. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, I love her with all my heart, and she loves me with is, all her heart. Is it his her twin butt is sister? so shiny. Yes. 
to be wild in endless love to each other, forever bound by fate. Are they twins? None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. No matter what anyone sees. Oh, are they incest twins? Are they twin cest? Uh, 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 better not be. Bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you! Some of us ain't that lucky. Uh, I mean, hi, Kibo. <laughs> so to see this lover of yours, you had to escape. And that's why you killed Angie and Tenko? But why did you need to kill both of my girlfriends? If you ask if I needed to escape this place, my answer would be... Yet. Because I have no need to escape this place. For the one I love is inside. Inside? What? Don't look at me! Ain't no way in fucking hell I'm this shit looking cockbags lover! Wow. Calm down. No one uh, wanted that disgusting uh, uh, lady like you anyway. <laughs> Man, you two need to calm down. Kyo, who is it? Who is this person you love? Is it really one of us? God damn it, you guys, are you that dense? <laughs> when I say inside, I do not mean inside this account me. I mean, inside of me. Oh! 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 Fuck. Fuck, yeah. Yo! Oh! Go! Damn it, Ryu, you were right. <laughs> no, Falsh is uh, right. Let's... Don't pin this on me. <laughs> let's, let, let's just get through it. Let's just get through it. The, the one I love lives inside of me, my dearest sister. S sister? Oh! Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was bragging in the <laughs> chat. Hold on. Okay. Don't look at me! I ain't a sister! Well, duh. If you were his sister, he would have killed himself already. Your sister? But didn't you say she was your lover? <laughs> it is not yet difficult. My sister okay. is my lover. Yo! Let's 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 keep this scene short, Gorky. <laughs> yes. No, let's look at it again. <laughs> and I loved her so deeply, and she loved me so deeply. The fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. They called it a forbidden love, but none could stop the love we shared. Oh, how I long for her warmth. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in her warmth. Uh, thank you, Yenz... Why? Yenzo... That looks like 13. Thank you. Wait, Appreciate somebody it. joined? Uh, na now? Of all times? <laughs> oh, I would have put in a courtesy it. five minutes. <laughs> Welcome to a typical CATV stream where we talk no. about <laughs> No! No! No. Well, welcome to a typical CATV stream where we're forced to forced to face things that we don't want to on camera because that's what the game put put in, put in front of us. I hate Danganronpa. <laughs> it is fine for my beloved sister. I had to. You had to escape from here, right? No. I had to kill for her. <laughs> Sorry, what you're gonna need to I'm thinking that. maybe he doesn't actually have a. Oh, maybe he, oh, he does. Uh, sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. Even though I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends for my dear deceased sister. Deceased? deceased my sister. sister is now a ghost, so her friend should be ghost too, right? For sister's sake, I've killed many. Yep. Who sent her 100 friends. Yeah. There you go. They were all wonderful people, worthy of being sister's friends. What? <laughs> This is too impossible to understand. Do 
impossible. He he he. Sister is very happy. Yes, great kill. I am very happy. Thanks to you, I am not lonely. Could could it be? That lipstick version of Kyo is... <laughs> wow. Hello, everybody. I am Kari Kyo's older sister. Thank you for looking after my little brother. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm totally out here on this. I'm just... I'll meet you guys outside. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> goodbye. After I lost my beloved sister, I was so distraught I nearly went mad. Mm. Only <laughs> nearly, though. But sister came to save me. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. <laughs> now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never lonely. That's a wonderful Korikyo. Her love made the impossible possible. Uh, yeah, yeah, as said, just gonna just gonna go ahead and dip. I don't want any part of this. Goodbye. <laughs> It's just delusional. <laughs> what a sad girl who can't even believe in the power of love. Don't need no credit card to ride this train. <laughs> Either way, he's Too totally cute. out of his mind. <laughs> and there he goes. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. You said you kill a lot already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed here? What? <laughs> Seemed like he was already crazy before he got here. He didn't kill to escape from here. This wasn't your purpose from the get-go. We were trapped in here with you. You just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? Do not make me out to be some bloodthirsty indiscriminate killer. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sister's friends. And that's Tenko? Oh. <laughs> that's, hmm, only girls, huh? I see, so when we were deciding on who should be the medium... Weird! See, what it, kind of serial would killer would only use the discrimination of the gender and the preference of someone they liked? Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. You said it would work best with the girl. I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. And besides Maki and Mew, they were all worthy. Damn. Wow. All worthy of being sister friends. Aw. Worthy. Hey! How come I'm not included? I mean, not like I can't or anything. I got to live. And then the second victim it could have been me. Tanko tied in place of me. Yep. <laughs> then I'll do it. I. Nope. I. Wait. Actually, you know, it should be Tanko. Y you say it. Okay. I can think of any way but me that Angie Spirit should go in. Oh, no, no, it was. No, it was. Okay. Okay. It was. All right. No, Awkward. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. <laughs> no, I'll do it. <laughs> After you. Girls, girls, I will do it. It's fine. Uh, no, no, I don't do think it. that will be necessary. To be. <laughs> <laughs> Tinkle would have been great, but Tinkle volunteering made me so happy. Her noble, earnest heart made her a perfect friend for Sister. She even infiltrated the student council to protect, protect Kamiko. Huh? Infiltrate? Really? But how did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me. I have studied many people. Yes. Duh, she stood up against the darkness of the school all by herself. All for her beloved friend. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was a perfect friend for sister. <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Mm -mm, you're wrong. Though, I was planning on having you become sister's friend too, eventually. What? You do all that for? Wow! You did all that just to kill? 
for you to go that far, that's pretty impressive. You're interested in the <clears throat> The Kajit's wild? So I think it's used it to kill someone, right? Not even close to how it's pronounced. It interested me as an anthropologist, of course, but more than that, I want to kill for sister. I cannot deny that overpowering feeling. <laughs> I hate her. She, Kyder, are you okay? You look kind of pale, dude. Hey, don't worry about it. Just focus on Kyo right now. He's almost dead, right? I want to explain, though. I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew I would have plenty of chances after escaping this place. But Andy walked in on me preparing and ended up killing her in a different way. So I figured they may as well kill someone else too. After all, it would be a shame to just waste the seance trick I prepared. You're talking like you killed her just because you could. Well, duh. <laughs> Yet, not just because I could. I was sending another friend to see her. Have you not been listening? For a kill? Your son's a thoughtful little brother, but it was bad to get greedy. You're right. Because of that, now I can't send 100 friends to sister. You understand now? Those were the circumstances of Korakio's crime. I I do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. That's right. Killing two friends for your dead sister? That's wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> oh, don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after Sister's death. Death only changes a person's form. The soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. Even though I'm a ghost now, I am always by Kiro Kiro's side. Thank you, Sister. I love you. Cut it out already! don't understand anything you're saying! Nothing's making sense! It's not fair! Why did Angie and Tenko have to die for something so unfair? Because death is unfair. Yeah? All deaths are unfair deaths. Why do you think news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? Because everyone likes unfair deaths. Well, if you look at it like that, this whole killing game embodies a philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play a killing game. Man, if people were watching this, they would get a kick out of it. Maybe you should mention that. If people were watching this... Knock it off! <laughs> Knock off the bullshit! Only sick fucks would enjoy... Uh, I, I, yeah! <laughs> What she said. <laughs> but if you're playing it, that's fun. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. If I wasn't in the killing game, I had so much fun watching it. Yeah, anybody who is watching this right now is a terrible person. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hehehe. <laughs> the nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. But my role in it is over. I have finished my explanation to you, friends. I think I shall go and see her now. My beloved sister. I was unable to send her 100 friends, but at least I can see her again now. Look in a mirror. It's alright, sweet Korekio. Come to me. Looks like you're already prepared. Now then, let's get started. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's punishment you know time! It's gonna be. Punishment time! Something like a ritual, all ghostly and shit. My beloved yep. sister, at long last, I'll finally get to see you again. Duh. From now on, no one will try to stop us. We can be together without having to hide our love from others. Wait, I can't accept this. Like I said, there's no such thing as a death that can be accepted. Why do you think so many cultures have funeral rites? Why do you think rumors of ways to resurrect the dead never cease? The living must find a reason, however, forced to accept death when it happens. 
how you come to terms with death also determines how you live, da? Hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the answer I reached. How about you? How will you live a life that faces death? I've prepared a special punishment for the ultimate anthropologist, Korakio Shinguji! I will watch over you all as a ghost, as your friend. I will watch over you. It won't just be me and Korakio. All those who died will be watching. <laughs> I'll be watching to see how you face the death of your friends. Ow. I'll be watching forever and ever. Let's give it everything we got! It's punishment time! Okay, well, Q turned out to be fucking weird. Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait to go between the ropes tonight. <laughs> Q has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Yeah, I wonder what it's gonna be. Oh, what oh. the hell? Um. Cultural oh. melting pot! Oh, I like this. Woo! It's thematic. Um, guys, I, I don't like. Maybe we should stop. What? Oh, they what? Cut them down. What? Oh! Uh, literally a melting pot. Boiled alive. Uh, I think both the cuts are gonna die. I think it goes into the fire. <gasps> you might be right! <laughs> yeah. oh, oh no, he threw oh. himself in! Oh. Oh. The one that I didn't suspect, the last one I suspected to die. My robot son. Oh, there goes his ghost. Now they oh. can be together forever. Oh. Uh. Oh. Get out of here with that shit! Oh, oh god, that's so <laughs> It's <laughs> so weird! Get out of here! Oh. All of you, get out! Go away! Go away, evil spirits! <laughs> I'm so sorry you all had to see that. <laughs> Why is she into it, though? Are you telling me that the salt is real? Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? We know, Monogam, why? <laughs> what the? To think my cute cub would commit suicide? Uh, I don't want to say that. It's so freaking cute that he would kill him because he couldn't get along. <laughs> Monogam committed suicide. Had I know this would happen, I would have been nice to him. The only reason Monogam is obsessed over getting along because everyone but me bullied him. Yes, the other mother cup threw up from the suicide, but not me. Hey, uh, who's Mono Dan? <laughs> huh? Already oh, forgot? That's kind of scary. Well, looks like another class trial is wrapped up without incident, so I'm gonna take back this here Necronomicon, if you don't mind. Seems like a waste, though. You guys sure you don't want to use it? <laughs> you guys should have brought someone back to life and added them to your roster. Shut up! How long are you going to keep talking about that? Ignore him. The whole res resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's just trying to take us up mentally to get us to panic. Oh, I bet then you'll think another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> I mean, who could say, right? What a waste. If none of you were going to use it, you should have let me have it. Then I could have resurrected one of my dead siblings. Which one? Um, I don't know. It will be terrible, actually. <laughs> Wait, did one of us die? I could have sworn it's just been the two of us this whole time. It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> too bad. Later. So long, farewell. Yeah. I'm dead. Even though he still talks about raising the dead. Man, this is stupid. What people believe in is up to them, but living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. 
The living are no more precious than the dead. Or, no. Yes, <laughs> much more precious than the dead. No matter what! Sorry. That's not something a coward like you should say. Shut up. Leave me alone. But there's one thing this case taught me. Is there? I thought there was a god watching all of us. But I was wrong. There isn't after all. Not in this academy. Huh? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Oh, our ultimate talents are all the best weapons that we have. There is no god. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Too fucking casual. Then, then gone to do his best to keep everyone safe. Gone to want to protect mm -hmm. everyone. But your talent is entomology. Have you seen me? I'm ripped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Shui to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm getting sick of class trials. Uh, yeah, you, you're right. Hey, your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When are you gonna use that, huh? No. I'll work hard until everyone tests my ultimate talent. Oh. And come again? It may not be possible. Oh, this is a cute pose. It may not be possible now, but I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I. I won't run away anymore. I want to survive and escape this place with everyone. Aww. Maki! Hi, <laughs> Kiro. I see... It was still loading, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I see... I wonder how long that'll last. What is your true calling of the skill <laughs> The killer shows. Don't underestimate her. Maki rolls! One of my sidekicks! I don't remember being your sidekick. Also, didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki Roll? Oh, you guys are so close now. This must be the powerful bond of friendship. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner. Especially not after losing seven people. Y you're right. Only nine people left now. Well, what do you know? The dumbass can do basic math. That's right, seven pieces of shit have been flushed away, and only nine remain. By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? Just, just nine of us. Humans are like weeds, too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much yet. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Right? No, I am not thinking that. Blatant homophobia is simply inexcusable. But hey, none of us gave up, right? I I know we're all gonna escape. I'm not gonna rely on on a god, spirits, or the dead. Just you guys. I believe in all of you. Kaido. You're right. Those of us who remain can start over. Hold up. He what needs to apologize to everyone for the whole student council thing. And there's only one kind of apology that I'm willing to accept. Jesus. <laughs> anyway. Yank your head off and smash it onto the ground with all your strength. Got that? I have never heard such an intense form of apology. It seems like everything is settled for now, even though we're missing her. Well, mm. Miko, you okay? Anything Gonta can do to help? You can tell Gonta. I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be best for her. I remember how she felt. Oh, Gonta understands. God, Himiko is such a liar. Is she not? Is that... Is that the case? You say so? Huh? What? <laughs> Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Oh, really? <laughs> it's kind of my, my, my stock and trade, you know? I, I pull them out of the back pocket every once in a while. Yeah, kind of like clock thing. Let's what? face it, you wouldn't have any free will in this world with, with free will if this world was comprised with just truth. 
But even then, I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was that was a keyboard voice. <laughs> what are you saying? Thinking about Hamiko's feelings a little bit. I only said this because I thought about it. Emiko has been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Hey, what are you repressing? Why are you trying so hard to hold back? What? Hold back? Mm. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, if you feel like crying while you're talking to Andy, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. I mean, well, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger on something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger when you go. Tango and she. I'm so lonely. I'm lonely without you too. Look, we all miss Angie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But I gotta survive. I still can't go to where you are. But I'm lonely. I'm so lonely without both of you. <laughs> Emiko. Damn it! Stop that. <laughs> Himiko cried for a long time. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotions that she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her to doing into doing so, we began crying. Aw. <laughs> the tears we shed. I can't even describe it. We were crying about what we had been through and what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love. Tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. <laughs> I said... <laughs> God, <fuck it. laughs> Damn it, Mio. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However... What? Look at her fucking face. Is, is she hard to carry, Gonta? She looks pretty heavy to me. <laughs> no, she's fine. She weigh about one-eighth of a manhole cover. <laughs> she's... <clears throat> she's sleeping very peacefully. She got tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? What? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source, and yet you... But wow! <laughs> that really surprised me! She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yes, I hope so. Then, go on to carry Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? Why is it? What? what? Alright, nope. Oh, because of her body touching yep. back. I got it. What? Mm -hmm. There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gonta is a gentleman, after all. That's right, I'm a gentleman. The rest of you Here. perverts, I wouldn't trust any farther than I could throw you. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna see how far you can throw me? Not really. While yes. we were heading back Out to the window. door. Out a window. Pretty far, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you could trust me! <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly noticed Kaido had stopped in his tracks. Ah, uh, new. Kaido, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I just wanted to get some night air. Don't worry about me. You, you go. You guys go on ahead. Uh, you sure? Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you dislike scary things, 
You should have said so earlier. I thought you were sick. Haha, <laughs> you worried about me? Yeah, worried about your stupidity. Uh -oh. oh, God! God, she owned me, guys! It feels great. Ha! Still haven't warmed up to me, huh? Maybe not, but I feel like the walls are we had up are going down a little, you know? I guess. Perhaps those walls were her enemies. It seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Yeah, it's because of me! Uh, yeah, maybe, but you sound like you're bragging, kind of. Ha! Like I said, um, I'm gonna go get some air before I go back. You go, you guys go on ahead. Yeah, sure, got it. See you tomorrow, man. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Hmm. After our goodbyes, I returned to my own dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaido. You, you. <coughs> Shit. Oh no! Oh. Damn it. I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone to space yet. Damn it. No way am I gonna die here. No way. Oh shit, is he actually legitimately... He like, coughed the... blood, that's like... Sign number one that a person's dying. Yeah, yeah. He must now, be sick. I, I'm suddenly worried about Kaito. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't I'm like him, but he doesn't deserve this. this. You know what? I like Kaito. I think he's great. Graveyard? Nice! Got the mysterious mask! Yeah, I kind of don't want to touch that. That's fair. Alright, so... What do you uh, boys say? You want to go a little bit further into the next chapter, or should we cut it here? I think if Ryu wants to talk for a little bit, this would probably be a good time to... Yeah, well, we're not we're not going to talk for an hour, so well, we no. could go a little bit further, but I don't know if we're going to meet... Uh, oh, uh, I think we should cut it here. Okay. But... I, well, <laughs> not, not, but not just cut it, but I mean, don't play any further into the game. Yeah, the, it's gonna show me the next screen here. Oops. Is <laughs> it just, just a title card? card? Shoot, I hope not. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. All right, goodbye to that. Yeah, uh, go ahead and let's let's go between the ropes then. Okay, right yeah, ahead. between the ropes. Hey, fucking the, this chapter sucked. <laughs> what? Uh, I didn't think this chapter I, sucked. I liked everything before. For Korakio's breakdown, I, I I had a bad time through like like the, this whole trial. Like last stream, I think you can probably hear in my voice how out of it I was, not being able to keep up with whatever the hell was going on. I didn't enjoy this chapter very much. But it and, was you know, an interesting murder plot. I it was I was about to say before the last like ten minutes of that trial how much I loved Korakio and like. How the only other black end I've liked so far is Mondo from the first game, but I really liked Korakio and I thought he was such an interesting character. And the, the incest thing came out of nowhere for no reason. Yeah. It added nothing to his character other than making him grosser. Whoa. Well, I mean, I, this is an extreme stretch and ignoring the long history of Japan's interest in making incestuous. Uh, uh, and... I, it, no, I mean, it's. Like in a lot of anime, twincest is a thing. Like, there's a reason there's a name for it. Um, just look at Oran High Host Club. It's, um, it's very uncomfortable. It it's very uncomfortable. Had, it sucks that we had to be witness to it. Because, but um, the, oh. the thing I was going to say is that a lot of cultures believe that twins were actually one person's soul split into two bodies. Mm. And that might be the reason why they did that with Porkio, since he's supposed to be an anthropologist. Uh, that's <laughs> well, trying really hard to find a silver lining to this cloud. Uh, like a reason they might have put it in there. Yeah, I could see that being the reason, but they shouldn't have. <laughs> they very much should not have, yeah. Hey, I, Ark, I just noticed, you just do this whenever, infinitely? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can do this whenever. Oh shit, okay, uh, I, I got Monokid, I guess. I haven't actually done this before, this is interesting. Um, well, it also a, looks a lot like Ultra Despair Girls. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, speaking of Ultra Despair Girls. I mean, there are older what twins. <laughs> what was the name of the... the it was, Despair um, Kota... Kota... Kotako? Kotako. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um, she, now, that, she, she now has one fellow guest on her I never want to talk about or think about this character again. I Which is think, a real shame because until today's Kiro stream I had uh, bad. I I adored Korakio until yeah. today and now I, mean, I don't. As much as I hate to have to say this sentence, at least it was consensual. Uh, 
Yeah, well that no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring that into our stream. Um, I'd also uh, rather that we not go down okay, this conversation. Okay. I, <laughs> I enjoyed doing his voice. <laughs> I think I wonder. I think that you made Korakio very funny, and I appreciated that. But today, kind of, yeah, it took it. Even it the funny. Kinda... I was. I could not stop laughing today during the. Uh, anyone could have gone into my lab. <laughs> like, yeah. I I literally had to like mute myself to compose myself from laughing at that. And now it feels dirty. <laughs> uh, it just, I, coming off of Doki Doki Lit Club, which handled, like, uncomfortable dark subjects in a very good, positive way, mm. Danganronpa cannot do that. And no. Danganronpa uh, has not earned the ability to even try these riskier subjects. Uh, worth mentioning also is the Doki Doki Lit Club was actually not a translated game. That started yeah. in English. That's an that's an American made game. That is not a Japan made so, game. Yeah, that's so. that's probably why it's more uh, socially in line with what I deem acceptable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I just so yeah, that's that's Korakio. Well, aside aside from the Korakio situation, uh, how do we feel about Danganronpa? Uh. I think that this is currently my favorite in the series. Oh, uh, really? It is. I think that uh, it is the most well-built video game, but I don't know if I like the characters as much as I like them in Dengar. Uh, yeah, see, we don't play the game, so, yeah. so that's not yeah. a factor for us. We really only get yeah. the story and the puzzles. Yeah, the yeah. That yeah. as, like, as a fun. video game, this is much more well-built than any of the games in the series. Even with having to hold Escape to run... Uh, I, I might, I might have, I might have overreacted to that just a little bit because there is two buttons to actually run. Um, although, the fact that they, alright, here, can I pause? No, I can't pause. I, the, the fact that you have to, in order to scroll, you need to hold down the right mouse button and then physically move your mouse around. But, when you're looking at that one screen, you know, the, the, the one where I keep complaining like it's the same yeah. button. Um, they swap it! They swap it on that particular screen and nowhere else, which is obnoxious, and it keeps leading to me making wrong mistakes. But yeah, I do think that the controls for this game are really weird, but like, just, like, I I'm impressed with it as a video game so far, sure. beyond, going beyond that. Sure. Uh, well, yeah. well, I heard from, like, various sources that I trust that the ending to this game is bonkers, incredible, like, best ending to any Danganronpa game. And I can't wait to get to that. I also thought that the beginning was really strong, but now we are definitely in that mid dang and rope slog. <laughs> <laughs> that uh... I like trial two. Trial two was good. <laughs> uh, I, I do you think? Hmm, where did this rank on other chapter threes? Well, yeah, I think I, I think we've talked about this in previous games. It's just that once we're once we're accustomed to the characters, we're, it's no longer exciting to know these characters, and. The, the big twists are still being held back. This is the most boring part of any Dang Danganronpa game. Yeah, the Danganronpa uh, games are very good at the beginning uh, and the, at the end, but the the middle section could use some work, I think. Yeah. Uh, I don't what, know. What I like seeing all kinds of crazy shit that Korkio get, or not Korkio, Kokichi gets into. <laughs> Kokichi. Yeah. yeah, I like Kokichi a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah. He's uh, great. What was chapter four in Danganronpa's one and two? Uh, chapter four in Danganronpa one was Sakura dying. Chapter four in chapter t in game two was um, um Coach Sa Nekomaru dying. Sa yeah. Sakura already? Yeah, so Sakura's next. I thought she was trial five. <laughs> nah, trial five was um Makuro Ikisaba. Makuro Ikisaba. Makuro Ikisaba. Because it was Nekomaru dying for the second time. Right. Okay. Right. Uh. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. The, so the buff, buff boys? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, all right, yeah, that's it. My my official prediction is that Vanta dies next chapter. Oh no! no. I knew he wasn't is in the game. Uh, yeah, we're we're getting to the point where we're gonna start losing characters that we really like. I, I I'm wondering about Miu and Kibo as well. You leave pure sweet innocent Miu out of this. Right, Mew yeah. has Mew has gone very downhill in my opinion lately. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just the one conversation about poop. No, she's done a lot. <laughs> what? I, I every still every like time. You. Every time we have to skip something, it's her. <laughs> every single time. 
okay, maybe, but yeah. Uh, but either way, I I I personally think that until the Korakio reveal, this was a cool trial. Oh, until that point. Here's my here's my meta evidence for Mew's not dying. I don't think she has any more surprises. I don't think she has anything secret that we don't know about her yet. I think she's pretty much all laid out there. Yeah, mm. I've uh, also I've across evidence. the table. I have some meta evidence about Kibo not dying, but it's really protracted and kind of weird. Yeah. Please go on. I, yeah. I have a friend that regularly cosplays Danganronpa characters, and she oh. always cosplays the character. Like, every cosplay she's done is a character uh. that's lived to the end. And she just yeah. said she was going to do a Kibo cosplay. Um, so, that's kind of protracted I... and could be, like, a red herring, but... Yeah. yeah. Well. Um. I. So we, we've all got to have. There's going to be six survivors, and we've all got to have at least one of them. So I've That's only got. To be six. Why? Did the rules specifically say that there has to be two at the very end? Okay. So yeah, I'm wondering. Game... I'm wondering if this game might go a little bit farther. Well, it still only has six chapters. So two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought this. Ooh. I thought this game only had six chapters. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're in for a much longer stream here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that, I I haven't seen any um, evidence to support that. We, well, we, I could I I have an idea of where we might look to get an idea uh, on that. Well, I, I boy, should confirm that's... something really quickly for the audience. She never yeah. said she only <laughs> cosplays characters that survive. That's just something. It's I've just witnessed. an observation. Yeah, in her like habits she might arbitrarily break that pattern it's not might, might not be something she's doing intentionally it's just i've noticed all the characters she's cosplayed have been characters that have made it out of the killing game all right so i'm gonna say that by the look of things we might have two yeah all right between two and three more chapters seems about accurate that right. seems to make sense with well this doesn't include the prologue that picture I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that moment was kind of cute. But, um, yeah. I don't know how long this game is. I, do we even want to... Do not scroll to the bottom? Okay, well, I am i don't think I did quite all the way to the bottom. I wasn't even Oops. looking at the screen. Uh, what, what were you saying? I wasn't saying anything. I, that, that was my whole theory. <laughs> yeah, I, was it. I, I, I don't know how many chapters we got left, and I'm not even sure if I should ask the chat or not. <laughs> Uh, well, it's just gonna suck if we have only two survivors, because that means someone's gonna have to go a whole stream, namely me, is gonna have to go a whole stream without a character. <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe maybe the last two characters are Shui oh, okay, yeah, and Smoogie. I, right. Shui and Smoogie. Quark, Quark picked the characters this time around, and she loves my ass, so I'm probably good. <laughs> sorry, Fall Shane wow. Wonder. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about it's your all over. character. Shuichi, Shuichi's gonna die, and we're gonna play as Kibo at the end. That's gonna ha how, be how this happens. Uh, uh, I, I, Samugi, I guess, is a safe bet for a, a survivor. I just, I think she's got more things to hide, more secrets mm. to unlock. Mm. All right. Well, with that, I think we probably covered all our bases, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. I'd like to announce right. something if we're done talking about the game. Go right ahead. So I just published uh, CATV Comics number one, chapter two, that you can now what? read online at Whoa. CATV Comics number Yay. one dot smackcheese.com. I'm posting a link Oof. right now into the chat, but I'm also going to have a link on my Twitter. Uh, if you haven't read this comic before, because maybe you're on the YouTube, uh, it's just a comic that I write about the seven mods of Challenger approaching as if they were some sort of like action adventure Aww. heroes Damn. they're cute they're very fun you should read them uh chapter two just got published at i, I said it cued so it went at nine o'clock tonight uh and it published them from over streaming so you can go ahead and read that now um and uh, that's all i have to say all right cool well, i know well then i've got something before I go to bed yeah, same here. I, know, uh, <laughs> I, I also have something to uh, to announce, but it's much less exciting. We have discovered a feature on Twitch called VODcasting, which means that we are going to, uh, at least for a little while, try out playing past streams when we are in our, uh, when our, in our off hours. So a few moments after the stream ends, uh, we should pick back up with, I believe, either Jackbox or Hand of Fate or something. And if you guys feel like hanging out in the chat and 
Why not? You know, I'll be back later. I'm probably gonna hang out with uh, people oh, in the neat. chat, and that should be a fun time. That's a neat. Thing. Uh, hey, yeah. question regarding that. Um, yes. Our chat said that they now have the ability to change their stream titles and games. Yes. Uh, but they also said that it wasn't working tonight, so we might have to look mm. further into that. But if we do get that working, and you, and the mods in our chat can change the game, for some reason Twitch doesn't automatically adjust our game. So if you happen to come onto our stream while Vodcasts are playing, and the stream game does not match the stream on the stream, please change that for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you yeah. very much. We'd appreciate it. I got an email today about that I'm, oh, you're able to do this. Yeah, yeah. All right, but everybody, I think that's all the announcements that we have. Unless Fall Shame Wonder, you guys got anything? No, um, no not really. Um, uh, I'll, throw, I'll throw in one more thing about my comic. At one the very end thing. of the chapter, at the very end of the chapter, there is a four-page mini comic that was I had commissioned by uh, Peach Herald on Twitter. Uh, they did a very good job. They hadn't heard of us before, but I paid the money, and they made a very, very good bonus comic. So. Uh, be sure to read that and maybe thank them or commission them for something that you might want because they're a very talented artist. Good call. All right, everybody. Thank you all very much for joining us on Danganronpa, and you all have an excellent evening. Bye. Bye-bye.